Hello and welcome to South of King's Landing, Explosion Network's House of the Dragon after show, where we break down and discuss each and every episode of House of the Dragon. It's been a couple of years, but we're finally back in the land of blood, toymail, politics, dragons, children slaying. Oh, that was awkward. Uh, my name's Zoom Blight. Joining me, Ashley Hobley. Hey, John. I'm excited to be here and excited that they've delivered everything we've expected of Game of Thrones. Blood, sex, violence. Cool, cool uh, new intro. Yep. Yeah, all the things. Tick, tick, tick. Moving on. Uh, has been two years. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Whoa. Uh, how did you go, before we get into just the episode in general, catching up here, how did you feel going into it? Because I did not watch any recap things. I watched nothing. I was like, I just clicked play. I feel like I went okay. One, there was a split moment where I was like, who the, f- oh, oh, that's right. H- h- how'd you go? Very similar. I didn't think to do a warrior cap watch of any kind. Uh, I was expecting there to be a season one recap to start. The yeah. Thing after the, thought. yeah, I thought there might've been, but apparently did like to like set it up at least the final moments mm. or whatever. Like, especially after two years, like. especially after two years, but, um, no, jumped in for the most part. It's like remembering, I couldn't figure out how, which side the kid at the start was on from, uh, but then it finally clicked. <laughs> well, I mean, no uh, blonde hair, right? Oh, he's not, he's so, not blonde. He must be, yeah, you know, team yeah. black. He's uh, the bastard, you know, the bastard. So. Yeah. So, um, yeah, good times. Uh, yeah, I, I think I followed along pretty well. I, I don't know if it was the same for you. It was the line where she's, uh, her aunt. Uh, it says, oh, when Lena died. I'm like, oh, how did she die again? Mm. There uh, was a Wikipedia few later. <laughs> back references and character names. I was like, what? I mean, on, oh, in general, it was like. Just anybody's character name. I pretty much yeah. have forgotten. Yeah. It's a very deep lore and show, obviously, when you're not. You know, when you're not more, of these, more of these streaming services need the uh, Prime Video X-Ray. <laughs> yeah. It's Pop true, up actually. so I can tell who yeah. people are. That's a good point. Very good point. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So the the, the new first episode, yes, new opening. How did you like that? I thought it was cool. Like the the threads look. Uh, I think it was a more interesting distinguishment from last season, where it was like the the blood running through these random tunnels. Uh. So it's interesting because obviously it is building like the tapestry of what the show is, I guess, of the House of the Dragon. Not like, yeah. I thought it was cool. For me, I liked it. I feel like it. Um, it felt more. Um, I guess uh, gave more the vibe of actually where it might be an intro that changes and stuff similar to the Game of Thrones throughout the season, you know, a bit more, I don't know, like showing history. Like it, it starts with showing a bunch of history and then goes into more recent events, I guess, right towards the end. But I'm like, yeah, but does that mean we're going to change it? So less of the history and like more of the current events as time goes along. I don't know. But cause I was, I had a quick look at the old intro and it was just very, it was just like, you know, he's Westeros sort of thing. It wasn't very, uh, didn't feel like it was telling the story because you know how Game of Thrones intro I always felt like it was telling a story. Yeah, giving you like a GPS map. Well, I it guess. was like giving you hints as to what was coming in the episode, um, yeah. or like for the season. Yeah, uh, kind of giving you like a also like a reminder every week of like these are the important locations and like here's where the people are and that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it was it was cool. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Uh, be interesting to see if it changes next week or if it's just the same yeah like it will be their little details or whatever yeah, yeah. I'm sure someone will spot them make a YouTube yeah. video someone will alright so first episode was titled uh, A Son for a Son yep fair <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did not know it was called A Son to a Son until after like oh okay Spoils everything, doesn't it? It kind of does. 
Uh, synopsis was, as Alicent grows concerned for Aegon's small council, Rhaenyra arrives at a fateful decision. Directed by Alan Taylor. Written by Ryan J. Condal and Ty Mikkel. We pick up right after... The, it's, not, it's not like I forgot how the show ended. That wasn't my problem. Or well, the last season, it was just the, no. the small things. But obviously, we pick right up after the the season finale. Um, we've now got like a queen almost who's, instantly. It appears like, or at least, or not, maybe like a week really. later, or like, yeah. What, what what's um? What's, how long does uh, it take the raven to get to the wall? Yeah, I guess that's the thing. So it's like I can't remember how long. Um, I can't remember how long Matt Smith. What the fuck is? Yeah, we're gonna be doing this for a while, aren't we? Back for what yeah. the? Hell? Well, anyway, Matt Smith. I can't remember what he says about Renera. Like how how long she's He's been. Damon. Damon, that's right. Uh, sorry, we're fake fans. Um, I can't remember how long Damon Damon says that Renera has been missing. You know, at the start, where he has a whole line about the, you know, the queen uh, subdues her, uh, pushes her duties apart, or you know, whatever, something mm-hmm. like that. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's been like, I'd say a week, maybe a couple days, at least, at, at least a few yeah. days in short. Um, but yeah, before we get to that, I guess, how, how did you feel about, you know, the show starts, we, we, we go straight to seeing, uh, the North for the first time, I guess. Right. We, yep, you know, we go straight to Winterfell. the North, we're introduced yeah. to Cregan Stark. Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like going home, you know, <laughs> mm. it's like, oh, we've got the, I remember these visual effects. It's crazy. This doesn't change. This looks exactly the same as it is going to look in a hundred years or so. Two hundred mm. years, you know. Um, but yeah, it was cool going to the wall. I think it was an interesting way to open it with the monologue uh, of, from what did I say, Cregan Stark, um, talking about you know how every winter how they would one in every ten men would be sent to the wall on top of all the people who get sent there on punishment. So yeah, yeah. That's terrifying. Uh, it was really cool. And I think, because I think when we did the first season discussion, I think we did, it, uh, at least off the top of my head, I remember doing a lot of back and forth about like who the show was trying to um, tell you was the good guy, or at least what the, the show, you know, it was like, are they trying to tell us they're both good side and like leave it a bit more, you know, black and white, like, you know, I don't, you know. But I think starting the season and going, here's Winterfell, here's the Starks. The Starks are generally viewed as the, the, the holy moral. good guys, the moral center of this universe and world. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, we're starting the season going, well, the Starks are sided with the Blacks. Yes. So it's sort of, the show sets you up to go, we're on their side. Yeah, until the end of the episode. Well, I mean, you don't have to, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> But yeah, I can understand how, you know, you start. I would be very surprised. I, I'm sure there's a small group of people, but I think like at the end of last season, a lot of people were team black, right? Uh, or the majority of people were team black. So to have, you know, yeah. the Starks on that side makes sense to reinforce them being the uh, morally right side, yeah. sort of. At least uh, for the moment. But, but yeah. when you have a dude who's like, oh, I could spare... I can't even pretend to do a... I could spare oh, a thousand men. Oh, they're, well, they're, they're old. They're, They've they're seen a few too many winters. few grey hairs, but... Uh, what's on the other side of the wall? Do you think we... <laughs> yeah. Do <laughs> you think we made this wall of ice to keep out... Yeah, stragglers. We think make we we think we make this wall for shits and giggles, you rich fuck. <laughs> like yeah. we got you some fucking dragons. Yeah, you wait till fucking hundred years from now, you fucks will be happy. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Starks. Shout out to Winter. It is coming. It is um, coming. <laughs> it's it's. I do like the I joke. The other- what is what is what do you call this? This is a light summer. What was it? That was the fr- uh, because obviously it's very cold. She's like, uh, what is it? Oh, this is just a light summer. Winter is coming. <laughs> um, I mean, it's funny. I think like when the show starts and all in the north, and you see the wall, and you know mm-hmm. all this sort of stuff. It, it is sort of funny to think, you know, 
couple hundred years. As, at least as far as what's happening over there. Well, actually, you know what? Over there in Dragons, a couple hundred years, it's like not much has changed, really. No. Like between this period the and walls Game are a of little Thrones, bit shittier. <laughs> yeah, walls are a little bit shittier. Um, the dragons die, but other than that, it's just a bunch of people fighting over here, warring for the crown, and a bunch of people over here going, There's some shit over here as we should be worried about. <laughs> like, mm. you know what the fuck's on the other side of this wall? <laughs> so it's it's really yeah, sort of puts it in perspective, which yeah. Mm. There you go. Um, then we, yeah, so we, we go back, uh, sort of all over the place. It's hard to talk about the show, but we go, obviously, yeah, Rhaenyra's morning. I think yeah. I'm going to try and link together some scenes just to make the context make a bit better. We do eventually see her find the body of, um, whatever her son's name her is. Sorry. Whichever name that son was. <laughs> yes. Whichever name that son was. Um, I love that scene. I thought it was fantastic. I think seeing Rhaenyra mourn alongside her dragon, which is the child of that other dragon. Mm. So then that dragon's also crying for the loss of its parent. I think is really good. And I think showing the people watching could either come back to be a positive or negative. But I think it's interesting that they showed that nonetheless, you know, what, how does this tale spread? Is it spread in a positive way or a negative way? Is it here is the queen on the, you know, the, the dragon throne or whatever they call it. Um, the black throne. I don't know. The queen on the other throne, she was seen crying over the death that makes her weak. Or is the story she was seen crying over her son and dragon makes her strong you know like i feel like it either goes one way or the other doesn't it yep <laughs> <laughs> um i don't think anybody's kind of holding against a woman for grabbing their son you know i think in this show i wouldn't be surprised if that's something no, like i don't think you do it when they've got a drag yeah true you know. I think the other thing I I I I didn't like forget or anything, but the, the dragons look really good. I think when like when she flies down, and when Renera jumps off the dragon, everything. I think I was like, oh, the dragons look good in this show. Yeah, it was very smooth. The the, the coming off the, the dragon, following the uh, yeah, going off the the dismount off the wing and everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. thought that was cool. That's um, why they in, took two years. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That shot took two years. <laughs> Must be. We are. Uh, uh, we get to see the, uh, well, I don't know what he's fishing over, the ship dude, right? Anyway, uh, Corliss or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he's saved by this dude. Yep. <laughs> who I'm going to presume has a more important role in the coming weeks. Cause there was way too much time spent on this interaction for it to not mean anything. <laughs> yep. That's, that's how I'm, uh. That's how I'm reading into this. Do you, did you not get the same sort of vibe? So, especially when yeah, the, this when guy's going to be an important character going forward. Yes, yeah, so when the you know he hands him the sword and everything, and then you get the um, you know you get the the line about oh you are you a debt and whatever else. I'm like, all right, this isn't just a throwaway scene. This feels like this is more important than anything else. So, um, just a note, quick note there, um, and I mean. Yeah, I don't know. We then go across to back at uh, King's Landing. We get to see little shits. One, little shits two, little shits three and four. They all do on all the things. But I mean, as much as we can, we can get to the end of the episode, I guess, in a sec. But I don't think there's any way from escaping how absolutely smoking their own crack that (laughs) Alison. Kristen, so Kristen, and everyone that's part of the Hightower group is. Because I, like, let's just boil this down. So, ages ago, Alison tells Rhaenyra, Mm -hmm. How dare you fuck out of wedlock? You fucking Sir Kristen, you fucking piece of shit. 
And yep. then they break up, and that's a big cause. And so Christian's like, you made me fuck you with your googly eyes, you bitch. And the thing between your legs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the thing between your legs, you nasty, nasty woman, you bitch. Yep. And then the first time we see those two characters in the show, they're just going off. This season, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then they they make a real point of it too, where it's like afterwards they it's like, we're never doing this again. And she even like they make a point to show like him uh, her putting his like white fucking cape on, which is you know part of his special group of whatever people he's in, where he's never supposed to have sex again or whatever, you know, like, yeah, ridiculous bunch of two faced fucking idiot imbeciles is what they are. Anyway, I don't like them. <laughs> That's how I feel. My question. One, it felt like it came out of nowhere. Like, I don't think there was any signs this was a thing. What? Prior. No, we knew this was a thing. What, did we? Yeah, we knew this was a thing. I don't know that we did. Yeah, we knew this was a thing. Okay. Well then, you know, all my points. <laughs> yeah, no, we knew this you was know? a thing. They're fucking two-faced little fuck. But anyway, I just, you know, you're seeing it again, you're like... This whole war's over. Uh, well, no, the war's, know, the war's over. Waited. Maybe she waited till her husband was dead, and then she was like, "Man, uh, now I can finally have some uh, age appropriate cock." Ridiculous! <laughs> Ridiculous! I just cannot believe these two people. They basically slut shamed Renera, mm -hmm. and now I'm like, you know, since we had that joint bullying session, um, we should we should be fucking. You know what really gets my socks off? Thinking about how we fucked over an era. That that really that's that's what gets me yeah. off. So even the show is about how it's one misunderstanding of an old man saying someone's name. It, no, really, the the message of the show is not to name your children after like don't yeah, do this whole like, rename thing. Yeah, and don't don't do this thing after you rename it because it leads to what we see here. So I think there are a lot of lessons this, this show has. <laughs> one, don't name your children the same things. Uh, two is make sure you have competent people doing things for you. Mm. You know, people who won't like attack out of anger mm. or listen to instructions correctly. Mm hmm. Do you know? But yeah. So we like see, uh, we see King Aegon, uh, whatever number he is. It doesn't Fuck. matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway, he's not as bad as Joffrey. I'll give him that at least. Like, yeah. They, they they try to humanize him a bit by having that one scene. I mean, it's again it, with hindsight. You're like, hey, I'm going to this, you know, small council meeting. I want to take my son, who you know I don't really interact with, and it just to bring him in there, and he's going to do. Let's make him look. Let's make this let's make him look, look really cute, adorable. Uh, and do this funny <laughs> thing. He's going to be grabbing the, the Lord. The, he's grabbing the fucking orb, and he wants to. He's going to tell him to ride on him, and then yeah. Anyway, that was a kid. Yep, this kid. Imagine this him headless, boy. <laughs> Man, it sure would be bad if something happened to this poor innocent child who had nothing to do yeah. with anything. Wouldn't that suck? Yeah. Yeah. Any, anyway, what's happening? Just so you room? remember what his face <laughs> looks like. Yeah. And what? How young he is, and how innocent yeah. he is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They're like, oh, anyway, what's what's happening in the rest of the episode? Um, <laughs> we'll come back to that. But uh, yeah, Aegon obviously he starts his little fuckhead in that scene. I think um, they do a really good job at showing how you know childish he is. He's playing with the like a having his son, bringing his son into that meeting at that age. I think mm -hmm. what disturbing things is done, and then B they show him even playing with the bowl and you know just just he's like, why would you care? The guy complaining that his ball's not in the spot. I don't know. Yeah, it's like who cares? It's fucking but weird. Then you know, just his attitude of, well, I'll just kill them all. I'll send my drone. Yeah, we'll kill them. Yeah, we'll fucking end that. We'll send over here. We'll kill them. We'll do everything. We'll just kill them. We'll send a dragon. We'll do, wipe them out. It's, we'll stop the blockade. It's fine. Where's Eamon? Anyway, he's not allowed in here. It doesn't matter. He's my brother. He's your brother. He's the best fighter. You know. Yeah. Bring him he's in. He's also saying kill everybody. Yeah, he he loves killing people. Let's bring him in. So they they make him look like a, an idiot, I think, in that scene. But then when they they put him up on the Iron Throne, they try to humanize him a bit. And this is the thing: the show is trying, I guess, to to keep like a balance of 
I definitely feel like, especially as we'll get to in a minute, what happens at the end of the episode, it's like both sides do evil things, but I, yeah. I still would say the show leans more heavily towards like trying to make uh, Rhaenyra the more um, like, because you know, I am keep skipping here, but you know next week she's going to be like, you motherfucker, like, you what know. What the fuck? Because it's like their side fucked up, but Rhaenyra but it wasn't, wasn't her. the one did it, you know. So the show sh- does try and balance it, but it's still just like, I still feel like it more. Well, I mean, same. their side didn't kill, you know, no, Lucius, true. Yeah. Lucerus. Uh, it was just one person who, you know, got yeah. their dragon to eat them. <laughs> true. Turn them apart, so. Um, and just gobbled the throne, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I did find that scene very funny, though, where he was like, we'll give you back your sheep. And then um, Otto comes like, up and yeah. he's like, no, we won't. We need to feed dragons. But well, then I guess that, does... that also plays into the bigger uh, story of uh, what's-his-face. Um... The the guy with the limp. Clubfoot. Yeah. Oh, no. Kim, like, talking his way into uh, getting Otto Hightower out of the position of the hand of the king. Yeah, I guess you that's know? the... Yeah, I keep forgetting that's his uh, long game, right? What do you think he's trying to get in himself, or I don't know what his game is. The problem with him, him is he's is as we talked about, I think last time is he's very similar to Littlefinger in that I don't really understand his. Sometimes I don't fully understand his motives, other than assuming they're bad. Yeah, and also I don't even know, and even like Allison, which I, the problem is. And Olivia Cook's really good at making me dislike her in the show. But the problem with her is this bitch, like, happily says, oh, I didn't mean for you to kill people. Like, oh, no. And then they show a scene later where she's, like, in the bath and she's like, oh, I feel so dirty because I had, because Clubfoot said he murdered people and then my son murdered well, someone. And I feel re- so bad. <laughs> like, Club, well, Clubfoot got rid of all her assistants. Yeah. And put his own in then, you know? So, yeah. There's but an they keep trying to be like, she's like, trust. I feel bad. I feel evil. And I'm like, oh, you fucking, you got guilty conscious. You don't. Fuck off. I don't like her. I don't like, I don't like these high tower people. You know, as that guy said in this episode, fuck the high towers, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, you- fuck that guy because he kicked a dog. Yeah, so, I mean, he kicked a dog, so how can you stand his opinion? You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, Maybe he's wrong. Yeah. I thought it was a nice moment when she's doing she's doing the prayers, and she she does do a prayer, or lights a candle for Brain, Brain Nero's son, because she knows she didn't want that. Yeah, she got guilty conscious. That's what I'm saying. That's good. It would be yeah. worse if she didn't have a guilty conscience. Mm. She's like, yeah, everything happens for a reason. Fuck that kid. I don't know. Never gonna live down that scene where she pulled out the knife and then on Rhaenyra in that meeting and went off about the eye thing. It's like the eye thing wasn't anyone's fault. That was his son. He was a fuckhead. Aiming True. the aiming the I'm can't do nothing wrong. Oh, fuck. I mean, I think it's just parents being parents. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I can't. Um, Emma Darcy's performance. I think. Is great, especially when Renera comes in. That, especially the way it's shot, I think. Like, like I'm, I'm feeling way more mother vibes from from Renera than I am from Allison. When you know, Renera comes in, she walks in, she walks straight around the table, you know, sits down. It's one shot, right? They got, they, they got, uh, you know, um, Damon really? walks up, says, you know, now on table, sits there, stares at everyone, sort of. We lock back in. I want Eamon. Whatever she says. That's it. Piss off. I yeah, think that was Eamon great. Cardarian. That was great Watch performance out. from um, Emma Darcy, I think. I, yeah. I think Emma Darcy, their performance between that and um, the crying on the, the beach thing with the dragon. Um, mm. I don't know. We're only, uh, obviously, they did a really good job she last She doesn't season, say but, much but, this episode, but it's very memorable. Yeah. I, I think I think two... Like they were really good last season, but just two two scenes in, and I'm again like, you know what? 
I don't know. Like pe- people last season were calling like, why didn't Emma Darcy get an, an Emmy or whatever? I'm like, I don't know. Out of like, I think Matt Smith's good in this, but just more in a like, he's just he just plays this evil thing. Whereas Emma Darcy, they give off way more. Like I'm actually acting. Like I'm a fucking stage actor, bitch. You know. But anyway, um, where I was gonna go to next? Let's just go to the end, right? I don't know a bunch of other stuff happens, but we we keep like. Jumping around between, yeah. There's uh, Otto and Alison trying to come to agreements. Kristen's like, uh, influencing Eamon. Um, but yeah, I guess the the ending is starts off with uh, the white worm, is it? Yes, getting captured, yes, uh, and her leading uh, Mysteria giving information to. Uh, Damon about infiltrating the castle. Mm. That leads to, uh, you know, Damon putting in motion two people to go assassinate Damon Targaryen. Yep. Who specifically says has one eye. <laughs> yep. I like he's how they really... Good, really... He's, he's got one eye and he's a really good swordsman. So... I don't, like, because I haven't read the book and I know whatever else. Like, it's based on a very thin book. So, as we talked about last season, they've they've already changed a lot and, you know, built no, a bottom block because, yeah. like, this is different. I, I But I want, whenever a big event happens, sometimes I go to Twitter or Wikipedia just to go, well, how close was that just out of interest? So, they changed it. I, I actually like it better this way because apparently in the book it's just kill a son, right? Just mm. kill a son. In this, I think having him... Allows him to not feel as, and again, they've made Damon a pretty mean pretty. motherfucker in general. Like he's pretty yeah. heartless, right? But at least having him be like, "All right, when you kill Eamon Targaryen, he's a prince with an eye patch over his fucking eye. He's got one eye. Here's a picture of him. Anyway, <laughs> uh, go, you know." And then when they don't, it leaves you a lot more like, "Well, like, well. he did put the vents in motion, so he's going to be to blame for it." However, he did clearly say one-eyed prince with an eye patch over him, not little kid in bed. At least compared to the book, where it was like just kill a prince, you know, like yeah. kill it. So, yes. Um, I mean, I was what like. There's nothing like the thrill of a Game of Thrones, House of Dragon, like scene where you're like, some shit's going to go on here. You yeah. know, like the second the they start going. The tension is building. Yeah, the tension is building. They're creeping around and I'm like, oh dear. Like, someone's going to die here. This is going to go wrong. I thought, like, I thought they were know, just going to get captured, you know, or yeah, you know, get tortured. But, but so. you knew something was going to go wrong. Like, yeah. F- leaning which direction, I don't know. There was but, no way they were going to kill. <laughs> For a spe- I don't know, like, because, like, have they said the third season's the last already? Wasn't that the thing? Well, they, no, they just said that? it was greenlit for a third season. Just third season. I just, I like, I don't know how much content they can get out of, like, this particular fight and this war or whatever, but part of me was like, I don't know, maybe he does die. Maybe that'd be, mm. that's a wild season opener. Um, but yeah, I mean, the way it goes down, obviously, coming in knife to old, old loopy loopy queen who doesn't know where she is half the times which i but think she called it at the yeah. start of the episode we should be now yeah so what is she dragons. like a, she she's like a she's like a warg i don't know like she's a she's something right yeah she's you know, uh she's got like foresight so something like that yeah whether or not she realizes or not because she always talked shit last season too you know just answering complete gibberish but um yeah i mean obviously she saw it coming and you know, and then hold knife. I was like, oh God. But then part of me, and this sounds really evil. I'm just like, at this stage, like, why don't you just kill both the kids? That was the only part where I'm like, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, just like, if, you, if you're there and you're going to cut a kid's head off and you're worried about not doing it right. Why are you even asking her? Like, which one's the, which one's the males? We're like, we'll just stab them both. Stab her too. Like that's that's the only part I'm confused. In for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> I think so to a degree, right? Like, because w- what difference does it make to the ultimate? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I think the sound of them cutting that kid's poor head's kid off is. Yeah, I watched it with subtitles on. <laughs> and they made sure to say, uh, "knife like blade sounds." Yep. 
cutting through skin and bone. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm like I'm gonna give props to the sound designer, um, because yeah, it wasn't nice. But no, especially because you know what they were doing. Like obviously it was all off screen, so there's no visual. Yeah, no visuals, but you can hear that. But you that can, shit, and yeah. your imagination is probably your, your imagination is probably worse than what they could have shown. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fucked yeah. Up. So, uh, and then she has to run in to see her step. No, what? What do you her mom, no, uh, Fucking um, her toy boy. Boy toy. Her mum, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is too. Yeah, her mum fucking her toy boy. Yeah. Remember the sister? The the siblings are married. <laughs> yes, that's right. I forgot because they're Targaryens. Sure. Yeah, Targaryens, right? Yep. Um. Yeah. So then she's and then just yeah, they killed the boy. They killed the boy. They killed Not the freaking boy. out about. That I guess you wouldn't. Yeah, and I mean, did you watch? They didn't show it on binge, but I went on YouTube and watched the. No, I didn't get around to watching the. Yeah, after. they did a not a next time, but they did a this season on House of Dragon, like a two oh, minute, okay. you know, like a yeah trailer based on the events of this after mm-hmm. the events of this episode, I guess. But um, that was quite good. It's just a bunch of people being like, "War, war, war! Fuck them! Fuck yeah. them!" You know, like obviously, there's yeah, one. You can clip, imagine yeah, so. <laughs> Aegon, obviously, you hear at the, the start of the, the clip just being like, I'm going to kill them all. I don't know. You know so. I mean, the crazy thing is they walked right past him. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. It, like, clearly. they really fucking idiots. That's what they are. I mean, they were just talking like a bunch of, like, high school. Ridiculous. Like, spoken reef. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, as the episode title said, a son for a son. But we didn't know which son for a son. And now we know. We do. All right. What happens now? Shit hits the fan. <laughs> Shit hits the fan. Uh, there's going to be dragons coming, I would imagine. I mean, there's already dragons, I mean, right? yeah, it's going to be... It'll be interesting because I feel like there's going to be a lot of infighting on both sides, at least next episode. Well, yeah, there's in the, in the... This year or this season or whatever clip, you, you do already see um, Renero pulling, like, like talking shit to Damon. Damon for yeah. doing yep. that. Well, yeah. I presumed it was for this, but she's like, how can I trust you? Or something like that, you see. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, the Alice, Alicent and Otto are going to be fighting against the two young boys to but restrain the, I think, them. I guess the other thing is, like, they had this conversation about, we just need to be able to control him. And I was like, but this is also what Tyrion and everyone... Or, and all do. the Lannisters tried to do with the Lannisters, and we know that that's like, you put a little shit on a crown, and it doesn't like you can't. Yeah. Especially, I think after the events of this episode, it's like whatever plans you had, good they're luck. The yeah, yeah, they're out the window. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried to look ahead to see if any titles would spoil anything, but apparently the only t- other title that they've uh, announced for the episodes is episode four. It's actually called a Dance of Dragons. So, yeah. There you go. So we have dragon fighting in episode four. Yeah, I presume dragons fight dragons in season four. Yeah. Yeah. Man. But it's also weird because it's the name of the like a dance of dragons is the the name of the um like the like Game of Thrones main series novels, you know. Theme. Yeah. I think it's the name of the book he hasn't put out or something. Or is it not? Yeah. Hold on. Let me look it up quickly. Uh, yeah, that's the next one that's supposed to come out. Here we go. A wiki of ice and fire says that Dance of Dragons is the fifth of seven planned novels. Despite original predictions of a possible completion in late 2006, the novel was... Oh, no, hold on. No, it's out. The novel was released in July 12, 2011. Still late, though. <laughs> so let's... Seven, eight, nine... So like five years... Extra. Five years extra. So what's his... Uh... So A Wind of Winters is the next one. Yeah, okay. Um, so that was originally announced. Uh, it just doesn't tell me. But just had five years to when you reckon it was going to come out. Yeah? That's the end of your release date. I mean, plus extra. Yeah. Same. So add an extra 50%, at least. I am I know we don't really talk about it, but since I put it up now, I just, I'm, I'm on the side of these novels never get finished. Yeah, so just enjoy the TV show. That's what I'm complaining about. <laughs> Yeah. Like, do you, do you reckon these novels will get finished? No. Sorry. It sounds really mean Robert. to say, but I, I just do not believe. Like, my dude's 75. 
No, I, I just don't think he has an interest in finishing it. <laughs> really? I don't think he, it's not, I don't think it's a lack of interest. I don't think it's a priority. No, I don't think it's that. I, I, I think, as much as maybe he would never say it or anything like that, I just think after, after um, the show's the success, show. I think he has major like anxiety around how to finish this this series. That's fair, you know. Which is fair, I think. Mm-hmm. Especially with how the show was finale was it reacted. Yep. Like if you look at it, Game of Thrones nine ninety six the original book, Clash of Kings ninety eight two years later, two years later Storm of Swords. Then five years later, A Feast for Crows. And that's about when the show starts, I think? 2005? No? No. no. 2015, right? Oh, no. Something like that. Uh, Why am I thinking five? Ten? Yeah. Ten? 2015, I think. Yeah. All right. So he puts out that. Now he starts working on the next book. Show I've success. Never heard of it. Happens. Again. Dance of Dragons yeah. comes out 2011. Never heard of it again. I just, I, I think this, I think he's got crippling anxiety and, and about living up to it. That's my, that's my opinion. Mm. Which I don't even, I wouldn't even hold against him. I'd be like, you know what? If it was me, me too, my dude, me too. Because he's over here going, I'm really trying to, what's that? You want me to write a story for a new world in a game called Elden Ring? Yeah, oh, sorry. I'll just, um, can I just let me pause for a sec? Out. Let me just pause. Let me help these dudes out. They really need help. What's that? You want me to write a, a couple no- novellas? Yeah, no, a uh, code. Nah, I better do that. You, what's that? You want me to help with another spin off show? Like help write some world and map stuff for that. Well, I think, hold on. I just, I really need to go over here right now. <laughs> you know, like, I don't, I don't <laughs> sorry, but just, anyway, yeah, it's good shit. Um, good to have uh, House of Dragon back. Good, it was good stuff. I have yep. no complaints. That sound at the end of the episode was disgusting. Yep. Um, it was completely fucked up. Um, but, you know, what do you expect? That's what, that's what you've come this to expect from the show, This is Game right? of Thrones. We're back. <sighs> We're back. I will say, one small scene that I really enjoyed was uh, her oldest son coming back. Yes, that's... And that was struggling a really to report. I think that was another really good performance. I think that there's a certain point there where uh, his voice breaks. And I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but I don't really care. But it was great. Yeah. So I got the... I was like, no, nah, it's beautiful. I love that. It was great. Yep. And it really showed the difference. To like, again, just shows how... There's like um, some sort of emotion in this side of the family. Yeah, this side of the family, especially that's a morning with her son. And then Renera has the, I want a fucking head. But, she, but I think we'll see next episode, it's going to be... I wanted a specific head, you daft fuck. <laughs> not, not, not just this. Any. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do I do with this? <laughs> Fucking feed yeah. him. You know. Anyway. All right, that'll do it for this week's episode of South of King's Landing. Of course, we'll be back next week to discuss the next episode of the show and for the forthcoming uh, six weeks following that eight-episode season. Of course, you can talk to us on Twitter if you'd like, explosionhub.com slash Twitter. Talk to us on Discord, explosionhub.com slash Discord. Support this show and the website, explosionhub.com, by heading to explosionhub.com slash support. Takes you to our Kofi page. And we'll see you here back for the second episode of House of the Dragon. Until then, may your, I don't know, luck be good. Don't get eaten. Goodbye. We're a neck protector. We're a neck protector.